Hello, this is not a spring chick, and today we are doing okay. You would say this is our adventures in live streaming because see, we actually thought it could actually be live. We're finding out it's still a little tape delay. So, we did our first live cooking show. Yes, okay, it's his work, but now we're trying to they're find always the video. live, but now we're trying to find the video. Oh, okay, well, for now. Yes, you're going to hear us continue going through this. We're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. We did it. We did it. We went live. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. Okay, Barack Obama has them where he wants them. He now had the NAACP leading demonstrations against the racist Republicans because the, uh, the, uh, the going after him to remove him uh, removing the Attorney General for, for not paying attention to the rules is, 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 to, re, is to, to reduce, is voter suppression is what it is, and they're after him and Holder because they're black Americans. They elected the two SOBs to office, folks. Mm -hmm. White people elected them to office. But that doesn't, it's white people, they're going to throw their butts out. Okay, I predicted over a year ago when I wrote an article, they got widely published, that there is nothing in the Constitution that allows you to remove a setting president except by impeachment, and the Senate will not vote to remove this president, so it doesn't make any difference. For all those people that say that we want Obama because he's better than anybody else, you've got Obama because um, he is your president for life, which basically they don't have real presidents in Muslim countries, so you've got him, you can't get rid of him now. And U.S. Southern Baptists elect the first black president. No, they didn't because they're racist down there. They never elect a black man to office. Oh, yeah, they are electing black people to office, aren't they? Guess who won't get elected to office <laughs> now, though? You're never going to see another, you'll never see a minority president ever elected to the presidency of this nation ever again. You know what? It just made me think about what happened to the guy from New Orleans. Remember he did that Republican Bobby vote? Bobby Jingle will never be elected because he's a minority member. You never, okay. He did that Republican rebuttal and then after that we haven't heard from him. I heard, uh, well he, he comes on and does things all the time because he's a minority, he can get away with it because he's a popular minority, but they said Rubio will not run for vice president because if they think there's the slightest chance that he could become president, it, Romney would never get elected, period, because they will never, ever, you have seen the first and last minority president ever elected in the history of this nation because the Democrats were burnt by this guy. And when he doesn't leave office, which I predict he will not do, he's going to have to have the Democratic Party come and basically, okay, Mary Todd Lincoln, after her husband was killed, refused to leave the White House and had to be escorted out by the military. Oh, really? I'm assuming that Obama will fight every legal battle he can fight, and you will not be able to remove him from office until there's a, a Republican-controlled Senate. Other than that, this man is president for life, folks. Wow. And Dad won't face charges in alleged attacker's death. Oh, yeah. It <laughs> wasn't alleged attacker. Everybody saw. Okay, the, the way it works is, years ago on the USC College campus, I was walking across the campus with... My wife, the great Angelique, also known as Cindy Angel, for those people that know. <laughs> yeah. um, but um, I heard somebody screaming, and then she said, go get him. And I basically ran off and left. And I'm in a foot race with, the, with one of the football coaches to go see what's going on, and a guy is attacking the female. Well, I sort of help the football coach unattack the female. <laughs> and then, you know what happened though? He, he filed a criminal complaint against the, uh, the coach of the football team, uh, the, one of the football coaches for doing it. It went nowhere, of course, but... Um, well, you can file a lawsuit for any reason. Yeah, because what happened was they let the guy go with no charges mm -hmm. because they were afraid of the scandal it would cause that uh, you couldn't have uh, unescorted young females walking across the college campus at night. So they just simply buried it. It never happened, folks. Even though I was there, and even though I put the guy's face into the ground with the back of my foot, and the football coach was like this, he's sitting on top of the guy going, mm, mm, mm. You know, we were not happy because he tore all the clothes off the girl, was beating the hell out of her. She never filed charges. It never happened. Mm. Yeah. And White House denies Fast and Furious cover-up. They know it's a cover-up. 
Somebody in, okay, here's the problem is that the Isaac is basically wimping out like all the Republicans do. You either do it or you don't do it. It says Harry Truman would have went for the jugular. Harry Truman says you either, you know, do it or get off the pot. Well, the Republican leadership refuses to push the button because, well, you're going after a minority member. And going, they don't vote for you. <laughs> if it is not a constituency you stand to lose, then go for the jugular. I mean, for instance, okay, if it's white Southern Baptist, I don't think I'd go after one of them. But if it's a constituent, they're not going to get the black vote, they're not going to get the Latino vote, and they're not even getting the Jewish vote. I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, these guys can't be serious. That, you know, at the, at the, at, we went to see a rock, which is always a rock, 10 million dollar rock. They're sitting next to me, I'm, you know, because I'm a news, I got the news badge on, and they're saying, you're going to, you're going to help support America's greatest president, aren't you? This man has done more for the state of Israel than any other president in our history. I'm thinking, that can't be real. This guy would basically send him down the toilet in a second. Yeah, he is doing it. You watch. The reason why the Israelis are making deals to park their planes on all kinds of places outside of the American sphere of influence because they know that as soon as one of their planes would start to fly from Israel towards Iran, they'd be, hey, hey, Miss Alpha, baby, I got something to tell you. Guess who had just lost all their planes at latitude 24, something or something or then by the speed, by, uh, my generals tell me that by the speed that they're flying in one of our jets that we sold them, they should be there in about 20 minutes. Make certain that you take every one of the son of a bitches out. Oh, you're going to make me a hero of the state of Iran? Thank you. Mm -hmm. And drunk driver hits a food truck and two dead police say. Oh, God. I mean, it's just, um, he also, he took out a historical landmark also. Totally oh. wiped out a building from the uh, from the 1700s was destroyed. Asian immigration influx surpasses that of Hispanics news. This is why BS the bull is on because you want to hear pure BS from the president of the United States. With the uh, the illegals coming in from Asia out far, far out number. There's like 40 million Latinos here and like 10 million Asians and they're all here legally. Mm -hmm. 30, 40, 30, but under Obama standards, well, God, they're overwhelming the Latinos because you can't count without taking it. Here, here's how a Democrat counts to two. Two. Mm -hmm. And prepping for Ladies' Day and the more top photos. I, I know that. that there's, you know, okay, what happened is they're really going after Kate Middleton. They, oh, really? Oh, God. Everything. I mean, they're going after that female like she wish she never. She's getting the. She's not Princess Diana treatment from the press now. Oh. Well, no. she had five hundred dollar boots to go on camping. I got to ask a question to the peanut valley. Not spring chick. What's the average cost of one of your sets of boots? Well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's those are good women's boots, folks. I mean, okay. Let, let's just say it's not unheard of, and those are not the expensive pair either. I know my boots are cost around that total. That's a normal cost for good boots, folks, mm -hmm. for people that don't understand that. You don't go camping wearing these. Mm -hmm. And Mitt Romney, internet buzzkill. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're, they're trying. Okay. Romney is winning every single battle but the battle over the internet because the, the internet is controlled by companies that are owned by. You know those millionaires and billionaires that Obama hates so much? They're all Democrats. And they control the internet. And photos flashing through the Northeast heat wave. Yeah, and it's, it's, I put up another thing that is going to get... Basically, I want to tell people something. It's called a normal summer on the East Coast. And no escape for Assange. Well, uh, he's not trying to escape. <laughs> he, he, they've got the Russians supporting him, the Iranians supporting him, Chinese are supporting him. Who the hell else do you need? Yeah, that would be right. And <laughs> a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Live is only a figment of your imagination. 